Hello and welcome back to Cesar video blog. This time we have on the table a do-it-yourself kit. More exactly, a keyboard. By his name, Lumberjack. The book is a true hole, which is uh, suitable for uh, beginners. Uh, it's a good learning uh, to solder exercise and a useful module. This board is the one that uh, suffered damage during transportation and will require more than soldering, will require some, uh, some um, troubleshooting after uh, it will be uh, soldered with all the components. Uh, without further ado, let's dive into, into the experience. I will start uh, soldering iron. So, um, it will get hot until then i will um, let some music play if it's already playing then uh, yeah <laughs> yeah it's already playing so we enjoy some uh, music and conversation i hope guys that you are all well until the um, the soldering iron is uh, is done i want to say that this channel is not sponsored by anyone my thoughts are my thoughts and are mine I don't know if uh, someone feel offended. I'm sorry for that. It's my opinion about what I'm talking in each uh, show. So this time it's a kit, a keyboard. We will build it together. It's a learning experience. We will learn to solder two whole components and some more tricky like the, uh, like the, like the USB here, two hole is still but uh, tricky. It's uh, I saw that a lot of people have problems with this uh, on the forum, that people have a lot of problems soldering that. And hope that uh, this will uh, show you the way I build this. Uh, that not means it's the proper way. Let's see if uh, the soldering iron is um, hot enough. And if the tip is clean, we have the a tip that is clean. So for this reason, we should be able to melt some solder. Yeah, we can start doing it, okay? It's melting, it's hot, it's okay. We should do it. That's it. That's it, guys. It's nothing really difficult okay don't have to add an excessive amount of solder to to the to the stuff yeah you need to, and we need to to hit the boat and the pad and the the component uh, leg Okay, we are back now, and uh, we put back the the other components that were needed. So we finish with the components. Uh, after that, everything will be okay. Most important for us is to have this. Uh, there are some little ones that uh, that will fall so we need to keep them with something if uh, not a big deal but uh, that connector it's uh, sensitive and it's it, it, it's loose and it will fall i don't know if it's uh, deep enough to stay there by itself but at least um, we'll try to tackle one one wire uh, any one wire and the second one now will stay in place for sure yeah the other ones are not so um is it so free moving so um not such a big deal we should tackle the capacitor the metal 
block words at least yeah you see something there Should finish the programmer jack, the connector, programming connector. ISP. Okay. ISP is done. And these are the switches. Let's verify if they are in the proper position I didn't check but they fit only in one direction so yeah we will use this meter yeah yeah okay now we will not use it oh let's use it let's use it let's use it but I have the short layer the short ones for component construct that has more uh, length to the uh, we should beep again you should hear the beep yeah i don't know you hear it Hope you hear it. Okay. So they should be like this. this is the only way they enter. This is the only way they enter put them the other way so yeah so this should be short one leg to another yeah and this should be broken and it will make the contact when it's pressed Press it and then make contact. Yep, good. So they are good. They are good. Yeah, I have to take that back. A new one. Okay. Continue. We are continuing the adventure. Have to solder the stuff here. At least one side, and then the other. Can you see what's happening? Yeah. What was there? The, the tip clean all the time that's a good advice for soldering keep the tip clean all the time and hit both of the sides the pad and the component uh, leg if possible necessary even it's necessary to, to do this in order to have a, a good uh, solder connection. Need to put
don't insist too much with the heat because you can break the case of insisting uh, the pads now we don't want to break the pads for sure we don't want to break the pads I'm sorry you see nothing yeah I was trying to straighten uh, not this this is not uh, needed to stay like that I need yeah trying to straighten the uh, legs legs terminals <laughs> wherever wherever yeah okay channel it's like I don't know I don't hit the proper the pad I was not hitting the pad properly Let's add the USB cable and let's check the music is still going on. Yeah, good. Let's add the USB cable as I said. We have it here. It's a true hole, uh, I hope. I don't know. Hope it's the proper connector. We will see. This need to be on this other side. Um, it's like in the song of Jim Morrison, breaking through to the other side. Breaking through. To the other side. Hey. this is it guys this is the the usb connector 
I don't know, I should uh, have it some, somewhere like this. We should tackle. Tackle the other the uh, because it's through hole, all you need to do is to keep it there. So we should add a little bit of uh, masking because I don't want to move it during the soldering process. It can't stay here. It will not go anywhere. Okay. It doesn't have to be... But it needs to stay. Uh, we don't see it. So Now you see it. Okay, this is uh, the most difficult part for majority majority of the people. I will start with fixing it because it's too hard. I wish for it to be fixed. And that will help me to have it stable. And then I don't care about the the other stuff. I have a big tip. It's too big. The tip is too big for this. So if we uh, trust the if we trust the solder mask, then it should be nice. All we have to do is to add a little bit of flux and then solder it. Okay. added quite a bit of, uh, <laughs> of soda there, of uh, flux, <laughs> yeah, we can use this big um, tip, I think we can, they will take uh, essentially what they need to, to take, from the from the process and everything will be solid. Everything should be solid. This looks good. Let's clean it a little. Do we have some cleaning tips here? I should. I should, but I don't. I should, but I don't. Be right back. Okay, tips are back. Q-tips. I, I bring some Q-tips. Uh, the trusted isopropyl alcohol. IPA. So, we clean the mass. We did earlier with the ordering. And we will see if everything is okay and we have no bridges. It looks like we have one bridge there, one bridge. Fixed, I think. I should uh, look closer with. Uh, Yeah, it seems like it's cleaned. 
yeah this is good it looks good looks like every pin has uh, taken solder i have to check i don't know if i can go closer with this camera i will try okay i will try to, to go closer and i see this is the maximum i can go so i don't know so i don't know yeah we still have a bridge there i need to take a closer look with this dude <laughs> yeah be back from the examination looked like there is no solder bridge so everything is as it should be yep everything is solid I'll be back yep everything is solid as it should be so we consider it uh, done we can try and see if everything is okay uh, we can try to power on the board would you like to power on and see if it makes in, makes any smoke i don't think it will because uh no smoke <laughs> is necessary to be present here no smoke is necessary, but we can power on the board and see if um, we have the um, voltage on the pins of the microcontroller. Uh, that would be nice. We have a we have a cable. Sorry, I was trying to free a cable, but we have a cable. Okay. Oh. We have this one. No smoke, which is great. But let's open the schematic. Let's open the schematic and see. Yep. So we have power. We can measure if the power is there. But uh, let's open the schematic and see. The, that the most fun uh, stuff is open the schematic and yep is there so we open the schematic and make it big yeah. okay so what we should look for that we need to have no there is no uh, led i my mistake my mistake the only two leds that are here are tied to the I was remembering wrong. Uh, LED 1 and LED 1, LED 2 here. So to um, the microcontroller. So, um, yeah, but we can try and see if we have power on which pins. It's ground. And on pin 20, we need to have this and 7. So, in pin 20 and 7, we should have voltage. Exactly, DC 5 volt. Okay. DC 5 volt. So. Uh, yeah we should have the voltage i don't know how to show you the voltage and in the same time show you the capture the, the schematic we don't need it so we need we now know so yeah okay 
so the schematic is not needed but for the moment we don't need that to spill around so in one is here to be where yeah I took it away so in one should be there like that in one let's look on the PCB pin one is to the LEDs yes so we said pin seven we have a ground one two three four five six seven so um, it will help if uh, if the meter will uh, will be on okay i will um, raise the camera we don't need that close anymore so that dc voltage this is a ground and this should be okay so don't keep your hand in front of the camera my friend so this is ground three four five six seven is this uh... yep it is and 20 And twenty. Five. Five. Correct. So we have power for the IC for the chip and uh, we can load the firmware because it has a bootloader already we can try to load the firmware inside I don't know I have to bring it that's another part but uh, at the moment we have everything we need to power it on we still need to decide if we want to solder the um, uh, and make the keyboard uh, swappable should we make it hot swappable yeah okay I don't know let's see we need um, to see if we have enough uh, mailbox sockets to make it hot swappable because I don't know if I have for all the switches which is uh, nice to have a hot swappable uh, keyboard I need to make two this is the one that had damage and uh, yeah we should make it hot swappable if uh, we don't have enough we will uh, get more real max they are expensive they will make this keyboard not premium premium plus uh, they look like uh, this mail max sockets and they will uh, fit inside the 
holes for the switches and then we can change the switches without desoldering them just again nice yeah and that was it uh, for uh, soldering this part and testing the power for the moment we have everything as we want everything is solid here we cleaned it a little the back it will need more investigation after we clean the the soldering uh, flux uh, residue like that it will take some work on it but uh, will be like a better result after taking off the flux yeah it will take some time believe me after that we will investigate and see you know that's what goes have to see why if it, what is broken and what needs to be re-strengthened and maybe we should fix some traces with some budge wire or something you know because that uh... yeah so this is a wired keyboard it will uh, use usb C at what one end and wherever you have on the other one I tried to make less mess than usual but uh, you know soldering it's messy all the time this is a clean uh, soldering uh, job really clean one you should see the soldering of uh, <laughs> SMD parts with the um, flux all over, you know, bathing in, in flux. There is a lot of uh, fun, but this look like it's not soldered. Look like it's missing the solder. Not important, but we should add to be sure. I think it's only just a little bit of a other on that pin. Yeah, better. It's easy to miss something, you know. And there are so many. And this is not a really crowded uh, <laughs> PCB. Yep. That's it at the moment. One step. Another step is done, we should um, have the, the Milmax sockets, okay, so more solder, a lot of more solder, yep, that's it, see you next time.
Thank you.